Well, hey there, you're on the internet, I have too much free time, and welcome to the Triple N Network, where all you newbie nib nerds can find all the news you'll need. Let's look at an ink today, shall we? Now, today's ink is by J. Herbon, uh, and when it comes in a bottle, it comes in a bottle rather like this. Uh, however, I don't have this ink in a bottle. I generally buy it in cartridges, which come in these little tins like this. And one of the funny things about the J. Urban, uh cartridges is sometimes, like this one, uh, they're perfumed. So if you're extremely sensitive to smells like I am and you buy uh, certain colors in cartridges, you want to make sure you uh, check to see if they're perfumed, because uh, you, you may get a nose full unexpectedly. Now, uh, all the tests were done in this AG Spalding Brothers, uh, it's a, I think this one's maple. Uh, it's a medium nib. Uh, however, since the pens, I believe, are manufactured in Japan, it's a fairly medium nib. Uh, I really like this pen, or I mean, it's for a medium, it's rather on the fine side. I really like this pen, however, um, the step down might really bother some people. It doesn't bother me that much because I tend to hold my pens really close to the nib, so I don't feel that, but uh, it bothered my brother. So, uh, anyways, uh, I generally live out of a backpack six months out of the year, so I love cartridges because uh, it means I don't have to travel with bottles of ink in a backpack. So, that's what it looks like in the cartridge. As you can tell I have a lot of cartridges, so I tend to label them so I know what I'm using. What is that? Anyways, uh, let's look at the chromatography. As you can see, uh, and as is true for most J. Urban inks, really not a lot of water resistance. Uh, the drop was put down here and then it went up. Very pale in color, almost yellow, kind of a, almost limey green, and then into a slightly darker green. This ink, I would say, rather than like an olive drab, is much more like an olive oil color. It's a very pale green ink. So from the top down in density, Clairefontaine 90 grams per square meter. Uh, 11 seconds to dry, which really isn't too bad, even though it's a bit on the fine side for a medium nib. Uh, I hope this comes through. There is some nice shading and uh, it's a very bright color. No sheen, uh, no bleed, feather, or spread. Uh, the note, the echo isn't that noticeable though. Water test, it did dye the paper a little bit and most of it is just straight up gone. And since it's an already really light ink, what little remains is barely legible. So, next is Rhodia 80 grams per square meter. Uh, seven and a half seconds to dry, so that's an improvement. Uh, as you can see, it's still very light. It's very light green. Uh, decent dry time, no bleed feather spread, uh, still some shading, like I think you can see in feather. Uh, the water test was a bit messy. Um, it exploded in some parts a little bit, dyed the paper, and then where it washed away, it really washed away. But again, since it's such a light ink, not a lot of echo. Next is Tomoe River paper, where 10 seconds to dry, so not terrible, but I, I feel kind of uh, almost conflicted about how this ink performed. It both got lighter, and yet it also got darker because this paper really does bring out shading and contrast. Um, like, look at how dark that A is, and then look at how light the scribble is. I mean, I feel like that's a fairly noticeable difference, but uh, yeah, good flow. No bleed feather spread. The water test, that's really gone. I mean, that's really light. It's actually looking a lot darker on camera. But uh, yeah, the, the upside is the ink is so light that even on a thin paper like this, it's not, it's not too bad. Next is 20 pound copier paper, where it got very light. I mean, this almost turned into a yellow. And oddly, it took eight seconds to dry, which on paper, this absorbent is quite odd. Uh, but yeah, still some shading, which I think you might be able to see. Uh, 
yeah, fairly well behaved, but uh, yeah, again, it dyed the paper. You can see the sort of circle of where all the water was. It, more of it remained and it was a bit darker than the other water test, but it's still not very great. Not too bad though. Next is Need Notebook Paper, where it pretty much just turned yellow. Uh, I would call this like a dark yellow. Um, yeah. Bleed, feather, spread, bad pen, paper, ink combo, water test was a mess, uh, really, really feathery and hazy and wooly and it bled through. I mean, the reason why this doesn't look worse is just because of how light the ink is. It's, uh, yeah, so, me notebook paper. Anyways, here's moleskin notebook paper. Uh, six seconds to dry. And I said considerable show through. Lots of feathering. I hope that comes through. Uh, it's, I said it's messy, it's ugly, it's a bad combo. Uh, look at that water test. I mean, it exploded, it dyed the paper. Ugh. Again, this would look much worse if it were a darker ink because it's 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 come through all over. So uh, yeah, there's J Urban Olive or Olive Green. Uh, it comes in these uh, bottles that are obnoxious to try and fill your pen in, uh, but it comes in cartridges which I like. However, uh, it can be a very light ink, so be aware of that, and it can be somewhat temperamental on certain papers, and it's not terribly water resistant, so... Anyways, there's J. Urban Vert Olive uh, for your consideration from the Triple N Network. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Bye.